What's up guys? Just catch some mussels out here. Look at this beautiful day out in San Clemente. Can't beat it. Some mussels here so we can see if there's any fish in the water. It's low tide, but uh, if there's a fish in the water, I guess who's gonna catch it? Me. Let's give the people what they want. Let's go. Let's go. Better. Oh. It's like candy right there. These look like these would be hard too. See these little close rings around them? When the shell is rough like that, the meat inside of them is gonna be pretty hard. Here we go. Oh, first time, let's go. Let's go. Nice. Still got it, dude. Still got it. It's been a year. He remembers. Look at this focus. Look at the concentration, the determination. Oh yeah. See, look, I loosened it up for you. Loosened it up for you. Nice. Nice. No, it's a goosehide barnacle. You can eat these. These are actually really good. You steam them and you eat the inside. Delicacies, they're very expensive. But one, right? Oh, no, we're good. Good job. Cool. Good job. 20 pound line. Simple drop shot. Take it off the bottom of the floor. This is the best knot you're going to use when fishing. So literally, you're just going to make a loop. Right? Loop. Take the end of that line. Pull it through. 10 times. Two. Wrap it around. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. All right? So there's one, one line, and you see all these loops? Loop, grab the middle hole, grab the middle one, and put that single line right through it. Hold it, and pull. Cinch it. It's gonna give you a nice, strong line. And you could cut one of these. We're gonna cut one of these. So you can cut this. I like to cut the bottom one. But you could literally cut one of these and it'll still stay stitched together. Like Where you had the hook and the weight. Simple drop shot. Hook will go right here. Weight will go right here. This top one is the hook and the hook, bottom and one. The bottom one is the weight. Cool. And you can put it as high or as low as you want. You wanna get it off the floor because sometimes there's debris on the floor. And if your hook is on the bottom, it'll hook there and get stuck. So if you put a circular weight on the bottom, it'll have less less chance of getting stuck on the bottom. See what I mean? Yep. All right, here we go. let's go. All right, so you get a little bit closer. You'll see that they have a beard right here on the muscle. You wanna point the knife down and away from me at all times. Cut that off, take the tip of the blade, put it at the end, and you wanna scoop, and you wanna hit that connector muscle on the other side right to separate it and then you want to scoop the connector muscle it's like a scallop and you want to keep it as whole as possible because presentation is key all right boom that is gold right there that's what the fish are eating now i'm gonna put it on the hook and the way you thread it on here so you take the hook it through the scallop that's my technique I used to use they have a hard nodule up here somewhere or you could plug it into that tail part right there I'll just do that that way it'll give you as many hits as possible or before that fish takes off one of the most frustrating baits to work with but if there's a fish down there they're gonna eat it all right here we go 
last cast. Oh, whoa. Too close to the net? Yeah, too close to that line. So Uncle Will, how you doing? That's right. That's right. Watch out. Keep going. Nice. Keep going. Look, focus. Don't get it caught up on the pier. Ready? Pull it over. Pull it over. Yeah, there we go. It's okay. We'll take quantity over quality right now. You're on the board. Look at that beautiful sand bass. It has to be 16 inches to keep. Beautiful fish though. Yeah.